Good evening. I want to clear up something else that is coming out um, in relation to the assassination attempt of Donald Trump. So now they are starting to spread this idea that the attempted shooter had uh, shot or had flown, sorry, had flown a drone at the site of the rally before it happened. I don't believe that. Just as much as I don't believe that Secret Service wasn't stationed on top of the building because of the slow proof, I have a hard time believing this story too. And the reason why is because, and I had been waiting until they made a, made a statement as to what kind of drone it was because uh, that, that meant everything. But when I just read a little bit ago that they are claiming that it was a DJI drone, I have to dispute this. I have to dispute it heavily. Let me show you why. So you see the article here. This one's from NBC News. You can see the article. I just picked one that actually had a brand of the drone in it. And it says here, the gunman who shot former President Donald Trump in the air at a Pennsylvania rally on Saturday flew a drone over the rally site a few hours before Trump took the stage, a source familiar with the matter told NBC News. The camera drone, made by DJI, allowed 20-year-old gunman Thomas Crooks to get an overhead view that maybe helped him to plan his attack, the, tr the source said. Okay, that's all of the article that we really need to read to even understand what I'm referring to. So their claim is that, you, or that he had used a DJI drone in order to plan his attack. Well, any time you have any type of an event like this, the FAA puts a restriction over the area wherever said event is going to happen. So if he indeed did fly a DJI drone at the site of the Raleigh that day, then the FAA did not put out a no-fly zone, which tells me that the plot thickens. The FAA isn't just going to miss something like this. This is a big deal. This is a, as big of a deal as not putting people in places to where they could actually stop somebody from trying to shoot him. This is crazy. So let me take you to another page and let me explain to you what it is that I am referring to here. What you're looking at now is I forget the name of the... Uh, name of the page off the top of my hand I would have to uh, make it smaller to see one one second airspacelink.com I'm not used to this site so I didn't uh, remember the name off the top of my head I used to use something called before you fly on uh, an app on my phone when I went to go download that I got the prompt to check out other uh, other services and this just happened to be one of them so let me explain this a little bit and I live uh, as you guys know I live uh, right here and um, I'm gonna show you what the different areas are so like right here you see you see a little bitty airplane that's uh, H07 Hotel 07 this happens to be it's a little glider port, Highland, Highland Winnet Airport, Winnet Airport, however you want to pronounce it. They fly gliders out of there and small aircraft, okay. And as you can see, if I click there, it says clear to fly. That means there's no restrictions, no nothing, everything's all rosy-dozy. So now if we come into here and we look at this, I don't know what all this stuff is here. Probably infrastructure. Let me click on that and see. It says clear to fly. Uh, no advisories. I have no idea what that's what uh, that's indicating though. No. I need to uh, probably find out what those are indicating. Not sure. Not sure. Um, very interesting. However, let's go to an area that I know. Here's one that's a no-no for some. Oh, a tower. Tower. Okay. So that's probably power lines actually right there. Oh, actually considering the locate. Yeah, that's a power line. So let me back out here get away from Highland just a smidge and we're gonna go down here right uh, BLV that's uh, KBLV that's Mid-America Airport near Belleville Illinois or Mascuda Illinois which is also near 
uh, Scott Air Force Base. So you'll notice that there's there's when we zoom in, there's red. There's two different reds. There's uh, kind of a lighter red, and uh, and then inside of that, there's a, a definite solid red line with a little bit of a, a different color red inside of that. So if we click here, and and you'll notice that the uh, each little grid here space has a uh, has a number on it what that number is an altitude okay so here you can fly up to 400 feet however before you can fly here you have to get approval you have to get what they call Lance approval with the DJI drone that aircraft will not start up until that system has an approval from the FAA to arm its motors it will not even I mean you can turn the drone on but you cannot turn the motors on you cannot take off you cannot do anything until you get that approval you see it says plain and simple get approval now let's go over here which is where Scott Air Force Base is going to be and you notice it's got zero feet meaning you can't fly up at all and it says flight restricted airspace and it says do not fly so even if you beg uh, the FAA to give you the Lance approval for flight in this area, it's not going to happen. You are not going to be allowed to fly in this area. Okay. Now, as I said, there's a military base here, Scott Air Force Base. Okay. So you will see these spots many different places. Um, I have no idea what this is all about here, but it's another area. Do not fly. It says NSA crane. I have no idea what the heck any of that is uh, is all about, but it says NSA crane. So for whatever reason, you cannot fly there. Um, oh wow, that's way over there. Uh, way over there. I didn't think I was went over that far. But let's take another area here. Oh, that's Belleville. There was a spot in Greenville. Here we go. So, and here's the airport right here. This is Greenville's airport. And if you notice, you're clear to fly. Even by the airport, even though you kind of really aren't. You got other rules that, that take place here. But here's an area to where it's restricted. Why is it restricted? Why is this particular area restricted? Now, um... I don't know that this will say anywhere. I guess probably if I click on no tam. However, I can tell you uh, that this area here is a prison. So that's why you're not allowed to fly a drone. And your DJI drone will not fly. It will not start. It will not fly. So let me zoom out and let's go out to the East Coast or something where they, you know, you know they've got stuff going on. So you see there you you cannot fly <clears throat> there you cannot fly and they've got all these different little areas here of do not fly right so uh, checking area I don't know why it's taking time but yeah you cannot fly you cannot fly in these areas it will not let you um, it's it's pretty cut and dry it's pretty simple okay Washington DC restricted zone you see that you can't fly in places like that it will not turn on the drone will not turn on so that's the, the thing that I'm kinda having a really hard time believing here is that uh, this guy in Butler Pennsylvania was able to um, was able to do so I know that the uh, convention is long over. I doubt, I don't know, there might still be. Let's see, what's this? Do not fly. Uh, High-speed aerial demonstrations at the Milwaukee Air and Water Show. They actually tell us what that's about. So, yeah, there's a, a do not fly zone here. But even like I was I was going to show you in Washington, anywhere we're like, um, we're like, anybody important is going to fly there's Fort Drum up there anywhere where um, anybody important is going to be at you will get a temporary no fly zone or temporary flight restriction I think that's what this was uh, uh, let me find the Milwaukee one again this should have been a temporary 
um, temporary flight restriction, I would think, to St. Mary's Hospital. Okay, those are helipads and stuff. But a lot of times there will, there will be a temporary warning for areas, like I say, where VIPs, if you will, uh, are going to be. So, like, I don't know, here's, um, can't fly in here, can't fly in here. I don't know what that is. I don't know, have no idea what's in that area. But you can't fly, and the drone will not start. I'm telling you, ask anybody that's got a DJI drone if that DJI drone will start in, in a restricted airspace. The only way is if it is, it is an area like I had showed here, to where it's not an absolute no-no. You know, if it's controlled airspace, you can, you can, you, they don't have to give it to you, but you can get authorization to fly. And then you got to fly within their parameters. Like here, you can't go over 200 feet, for example. Uh, here, you can't go over 400. Well, 400 is the legal limit everywhere. Um, but of course, where it says zero, you can't fly, period. You, you just, you cannot fly. And Lance will not, if you're in this area here, like this grid here, okay, it says get approval, but it doesn't much matter because if you get approval, <laughs> your maximum altitude, altitude is zero feet. So you're not really going to be flying unless it's in your basement anyway. So that is the interesting thing. Um, this is a college, I mean, um, an airport in Cahokia, and um, they do flight training and stuff out of there that's why I initially said college if I click on that you see zero feet it says at this location class D CPS that means a no-no if I click there control airspace you're gonna have a limitation of 150 feet that you can fly so they've got these areas all over the United States here's the St. Louis Airport here you're going to have these areas all over the United States. And the DJI drones will not turn on. They will not fly. I can assure you of that. So we really are going to need to start asking some questions about this as well. We already know that they're throwing us a bunch of misinformation and lies. Because of the whole sloped roof thing. And just a bunch of the nonsense that's going on. By the way, I still don't hear them talking at all about the water tower. Why is it that they they just happen to not mention the water tower in any of this? It's mind-blowing to me. But anyway, I will leave the link. I'll, I'll leave a link to this and to the uh, that page I was on where you can check airspaces yourself. And ask somebody if you don't know if you know ask somebody that's got a DJI drone if you are in a con number one if you are in a controlled airspace what do you have to do to be able to fly and can you fly in a restricted airspace and they're gonna give you the same answers that I just told you don't believe this I don't know why they're trying to do this. I do know that they would do anything to take the, the drones out of the hands of the American people. Why is that? Because they are one hell of a tool for gathering intel. They do not want us to have those kinds of tools. So anyway, I wanted to make you aware of this because I know there's a lot of people out there that aren't very well educated on drones and drone law. And they may see an article like this, and, and that's the exact attitude they would have. Whoa, well, he used a drone. Well, we have to ban those damn things. They were, you know, stop. They're not like that. The majority of the drones out there do not have an ability to zoom in and be able to catch you in the backyard sunbathing, right? There are drones that can, but most of the, the people that own drones, especially recreationally, they don't have one with what they call an optical zoom, okay? So, and as far as peeking in my windows, well, have you ever tried to chase somebody with a weed eater silently? Because that's pretty much what trying to get up close on somebody with a drone is like. Trying to put a weed eater up next to their window. It, uh, it's not going to work out real well for you. So... We have to get rid of that whole fear because we're uneducated thing and uh, and have an honest discussion. Why? 
they had to throw this in there? I don't know. I really don't know. Doesn't make sense. Is there a way that, is there any way at all that he could have flown that DJI drone without getting approval or with being in a restricted area? Yes, there is. And I want to put that out there as well. Um, if he had something like drone hacks, uh, literally it's called drone hacks, if he had something like that installed, he could bypass all of the DJI restrictions and just fly at will. If. And that is a big, big, huge if. So, on the surface, at this point, I'm not buying it. I am not buying it. And I just wanted to make you aware. Shalom.